Oh my god, I haven't posted a video since last year. Crazy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Will and happy 2024. 2023 is finally behind us and I honestly couldn't be happier. I wouldn't necessarily say that 2023 was a terrible year for me personally, but I also wouldn't really put it up there as one of the best. So I am ultimately happy that it's over and now we can start fresh with a new year. But today I wanted to jump onto the trend of showing what I got for Christmas. I'm a little late to it. I feel like the general time frame is the week between Christmas and New Year's. That's when all the little rich influencers and teenagers get online to show off what they got for Christmas and show their hauls of things that cost more than probably everything that I've ever owned in my life ever. I think it's so funny how that they will say that they're not trying to brag in any way shape or form and then proceed to low-key brag in every way shape and form but i love it it's so much fun this year i thought that it would be fun to show what i got for christmas i'm not like a rich beauty influencer um but i do like what i got and that's gonna have to be and but i always just feel bad because the stuff that i get isn't usually like trendy, cool, like aesthetically pleasing things. It's usually just a compilation of shit that I really, really, really like. And I am also a neurodivergent person, which sometimes influences the things that I get and just makes them more childish and they don't really flow with what other people my age are receiving. And so I always feel bad showing what I get. But this year, we're just gonna show what I got anyway. So let's just dive right into my Christmas haul, shall we? So usually a little bit before Christmas, I like to hang out with my friends and we do our little friend holiday celebration. And so this year I hung out with my best friend, Caitlin, and then my other best friend, Allie, who has four children. We took the four kids to see Santa this year and that was an experience to say the least. Also, this is a dinosaur. I realize that there's just like this little thing bouncing on my head, it's it's a dino head. <laughs> Very comfy, 10 out of 10. But anyways, from Caitlin, first I got some chocolate from her. Um, that is long since gone. I don't really have anything to show, but it was, you know, like little holiday chocolate shaped like Santa and snowmen and whatnot. It was, one of the first things I got from her was this Gibbets phone case, which is so cool. I'm a huge crop collector, of course, and so is she. And it was funny because I actually saw this like on her phone in the car and I'm like, oh my God, your phone case has gibbets, that's so cool. And then I opened my own and it was super exciting. Um, I think I switched it. This gibbet might've been in there, but I think I switched it um, from the gibbet she put in there. She had more like holiday-ish gibbets in there for me when I opened it, but it is so cute. And I was so excited about this. She had it packed in this cute little container as well which I just want to show. I got some Billie Eilish perfume. This is number two. First of all, just like the perfume bottle is so cute. At first I opened it up and I couldn't tell what it was. I'm like, I see tits. And I love the scent of it too. It smells really good. I usually am very careful when it comes to like buying perfumes and such because I'm non-binary and I don't really want super feminine scents. And this, I think, is really good. It doesn't smell overly feminine to me. It's a nice scent that I really love. And I love Billie Eilish, so this is super cool. I and then I also got this shirt, which is so cute. It says Portal to the Cat Dimension and Other Nightmares. And there's this lovely little girly on there with a bunch of cats, which honestly sounds like my dream i've always been a cat person like socially acceptable to like cats now growing up as a child i feel like it literally wasn't even socially acceptable to like cats like if you liked cats you were made fun of and i know as a kid i really liked my cats but like if people were like oh do you have any pets i'd be like oh i have cats people would be like oh cats dogs are so much better and it's kind of disgusting like why did we all hate on cats so much i know there's still those people who hate on cats but in general i see more of society accepting of cats these days when maybe i'm just hanging around more of the right people these days who love cats but just growing up like it was a shameful thing to like cats i literally don't know what was wrong with society at one point it was a shameful thing to like taylor swift too and now look at her my next gift is this rock 
beautiful, yes. This was given to me by a three-year-old in the parking lot on the way to see Santa, and I just thought I would include it in this little haul. I'm not even a kid person. Like, I don't associate with kids very often, but I've been associating with my friend Allie's kids a little more frequently. And let me tell you, there's just something special about a kid finding something that they think is really, really cool and then deciding to give it to you instead. So here's my rock. We also delivered gifts to the kids um, when we hung out and we got makeovers with their little beauty kit that we were given and that was definitely an experience. I have a little bit of footage from that I didn't know what to do with, so I'm gonna show you guys here. Gracie, just rip it open. Just rip it, Austin. Oh well, you can open it. Gracie, There's some stuff in there. Here, Gracie. Oh my goodness. There. Can you take it in now? I guess it's my friend. Look! Look, it's a Batman mask. It's makeup! That's a little bracelet. Those are some cars. Do you want me to open it? Where's what? Popcorn. Do you want me to get the cars for you? Oh my goodness, you got a tutu. Hold on, hold on. Princesses. He's clapping. Okay, okay. Look at you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all go. Whoa. He's a superhero now. Look at him go. <laughs> what is happening? You got another one? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, look. Okay. And then moving along, and then moving along from my brother for Christmas, I was given a new Apple Watch, which was really exciting. I love my Apple Watch personally. So they did tell me right off the bat was bought secondhand from my grandma. This was hers, but she only had it a few months before she had to get a new one that had what she wanted on it. So it's basically, so it was basically new, but they just still wanted to preface that, you know, it was pre-owned and that's fine. My little watch face is the same as my phone. It's like these cute little like horror movie, like a collage. <laughs> Series 8, 45 millimeter. I had the smaller one before this and it's so much easier to like read everything on here. Super cool. And with it, I also got like a set of like the little bands so that I can change the color. I just chose the green one. I temporarily misplaced the other ones, but I have some other cool colors. So that was my watch. Then from my mom, this was actually a big surprise. I got a new iPad. I was super excited about this. I had the fourth generation iPad before this, so I was I was kind of ready for an upgrade and I got the ninth generation. I was so excited because I love doing everything on my iPad, streaming, drawing, um, writing scripts for videos. And something that I thought was cool about like this generation of iPads um, it has the home button back again. My The fourth generation, I don't think had the home button. You just like touch the screen, I think. And with that, I also just got a case to protect it. But then I also got the box set of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit because it was just a series I really, really wanted to read. It's not that hefty of a read, but it was just something that I really wanted to get into and really wanted to read. And so I got the set of them. Pretty excited to start reading these. I've been in my reading era a little more recently. I've been rereading The Hunger Games and Divergent and I'm in love with those. Um, and so I really just wanted to read these as well. I got this whole pack of my favorite fidget toy ever. This was my original one and I literally carried it like everywhere with me in my pocket just when I'd get stressed and I would just fidget with it. <laughs> it's a fidget toy. Um, 
and it's my absolute favorite thing ever and so i got this whole set of them in multi-colors it's like there's orange and green orange and blue i was very excited about this because i absolutely love these i don't know what it is about this particular fidget toy but it's my absolute favorite. I got some new film for my Polaroid camera, which was also exciting because I love my Polaroid. I feel like not that many people use Polaroids anymore. They were kind of really like in for a little while. Now I don't think they're quite as in, but I just love them. I just think there's something so cool about being able to capture the exact moment as it happens and like have a picture from it. I mean, I know there's phone cameras, but there's just something so cool about Polaroids that I never got over and so I got some more film for mine. Then I got several pairs of shoes. As I said, I love Crocs. So first I got this pair of the Croc slides that are platform. They're kind of this, I don't know what you'd call the color, a beige, tan, off-white? I don't know what exactly you call it, but they're platforms and they're so cool. I love these and they're the two straps. I only had a pair of the one strap slides. Um, and I also got a pair of these little like pink, um, pink, orange, yellow, marble sort of print ones of the slides. And they're so cute too. Another pair of shoes that was not Crocs that I was so excited for as well. They're these cute little like Mary Jane sort of like style of shoes I guess and they have this adorable little strap in the front that's like little bat wings with a little heart um a little heart for the clasp I guess you call it and they have like a little platform to it these are so pretty I'm obsessed I'm so excited to be able to wear these when it's not cold from my mom I did get a couple of monster high dolls I absolutely love collecting these well they're every goth bitch's barbie growing up I had some of the original ones back when I was a child but I stupidly got rid of them so these are all the g3 ones but I think they're really cool this one is Laguna Blue and she is beautiful her little earrings are so cool this one is literally one of the prettiest ones i've ever seen i don't know what it is about her but i love her this is abby abominable she is stunning and her little like cropped snowflake shirt iconic she's so ah she's falling out of her stand i got like the cheapest stands possible just so i could display them i have the other little things that they come with i keep them separate but this was the cutest thing that came with one of them it's like a little water bottle oh my god does the cap actually come off oh my god the cap actually comes off that is adorable are you kidding look at that all right then i got a couple things from my grandma i've already unpackaged everything obviously so i can't like show you everything i'll package but i got a couple things so firstly i got a new bed blanket for my bed because i just had my sheet and then my bed cover i didn't have a blanket in between and i wanted one so i got one and i asked specifically for an orange one because i really love like halloween colors and orange is one of my favorite colors and I thought it'd go really well with the black. And so I got this really soft and warm bed blanket. I also got a DVD display case because I know a lot of people don't really do DVDs anymore. They just do streaming, but I personally love DVDs. And when I really like something, I get really bad anxiety about it going away. And like, so if there's a show or movie that I really love, I'm going to try and own it on DVD and keep it can fit like 20 dvds per row i think there's five rows so i still have room for lots more it's really cute it's displayed out in the hallway by my um croc display stand and i'm so excited about that and then i can also just see all my dvds without having to dig for what i want i also got another pair of crocs these are the croc um i believe they're called like the neopuff croc boots i think they're labeled as boots um, but they have just the same style as a regular pair of Crocs and they're fur lined, but then they have this puffed part on the top to help keep you warm in the winter and this part obviously tightens so that you can make sure no snow gets in there. They're very warm. I've already worn them for our first snow and they're very soft. And I absolutely, I absolutely love these. They're great. Then I got this moisturizing body wash. 
because I love the scents of Bath and Body Works. And like I said, I usually try and stay away from super feminine scents, but when it's strawberry scented, it don't even matter. This smells so amazing. I can't. I got a gift card to the Olive Garden, which as a child was my idea of like the fanciest restaurant you could ever go to, but I absolutely love Olive Garden. So we got a gift card to that. And I was also given an Apple Pencil, which I was super excited about because I like note taking on my iPad. I like drawing and so it works super well. For this is a very rough sketch, so be mindful of that, but it just is so easy to use. I don't know how I was even using my finger beforehand. It makes it so much more difficult. It just rides like a pet. Lastly, from my aunt, um, we had a bit of a late Christmas, so we saw her on New Year's, and that's when we did another part of the family Christmas, which is also why this was so late. I had some money. I got this, I got this cute little throw blanket that's gray and sparkly. Um, I love a good blanket. I got some fuzzy socks. These have little penguins on them. And then I got some chocolate as well. There's actually a little bit left. There was one of the little candy canes with the kisses and the dove. That was what I got for Christmas. I absolutely love everything that I got and I'm excited to show you guys. Um, and there's really nothing else for me to say. I hope everybody had a good holiday season. Um, I'm very glad that it's over, <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.